This is the Getting Into Alignment podcast. Here we play in the quantum world of possibilities. If you desire it, you get to have it. My name is Alexa Ray Smith. I'm a business coach and spiritual teacher for women in business. I'm here to help you unlock your personal power and tap into your magnetism so that you can manifest the most incredible life for yourself and build the business of your dreams. These episodes will help you plug into the energy of infinite potentiality and teach you the tools you need to play in this world where limitations don't exist. On this podcast, I'll be talking to you about energetics, mindset, embodiment, spirituality, money, and business. Everything that you want is on the other side of you getting into alignment. Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. I am your host, Alexa Ray Smith. And this one might be a shorter episode. I am still running out of breath. If you're not aware, I have had COVID recently. So I have been working on having the stamina to do all of this talking. And I recently just got off a coaching call with one of my clients. So we're going to record this episode and I'm going to trust that my voice is going to hold up through the entire episode. But I wanted to let you know that if you want to join all of my programs and be in my world for an entire year, I have opened back up my Synergy membership. And if you're somebody that wanted to join AOMU, my Manifestation Academy, and you missed out before the doors close, this is the best thing to do because this gives you access to all of my programs. So while all of my programs were in the Manifestation Academy, minus my business programs, you will also get access to all of my business programs. And what's so great about that is I find that once you start doing the personal development work, once you start going deep into your spiritual ascension work, once you start learning manifestation and the energetics of money, you don't want to work for anybody else anyway. So what's so beautiful is if you don't yet have a business, this is going to help you start your business. And you might not start with the business programs, but if you decide that you are done trading your time for money and you don't want to work for somebody else anymore, then this is the perfect way for you to really get into the programs and to learn how to create a digital business so that way you can make money in your sleep, you can make money from anywhere. It's literally the best thing in the world. And right now, if you get in, you will get in for the founder's rate So you will save at least $1,000 by joining right now. And so you'll get access to all of my programs. You'll also get access to a group monthly coaching call. And you're going to get access to an exclusive community on my website. So what's so beautiful about this is, is if you're somebody that's been wanting to join mentorship with me, but you haven't felt like right now is the time, or maybe you just currently don't have the money to invest. This is the best way to get into my world because as you guys know, I stopped doing TikTok live. So I'm really not able to give you free coaching. I don't coach for free in my DMs. I really don't coach that much in my comment section either. So if you've been wanting to get personalized support with me, this is the next best thing. So you get access to every single program that I release for an entire year, any new programs that I feel called to release, and you get access to all of my existing programs. And I want to say there's like 24 programs right now. So you're really going to get all of the things. And if you don't know, basically how my programs are, and I cannot speak for other people, this is just how I organize my programs, is my master classes are typically over an hour, but they're to like an hour and a half to up to typically around two and a half hours. And then my programs, I drop four modules in my programs and each of the programs are at least typically an hour. Sometimes the shortest there is, is like a 45 minute one. 
but sometimes they go up to an hour and a half. So you get four modules in one of my programs and then you get and you get a workbook or you get homework or you get visualizations or you get hypnosis or audio support. You get additional things to be doing to integrate the work and to apply it as well within the programs. So you'll get access to all of my masterclasses, all of my programs, and then there's some workshops. So workshops are typically without any video modules and they are just things to work through. So I give you information and you can work through it yourself. And so you get access to those workshops as well. So if you're new to my world and you don't really understand how my programs are, oh, and I do not teach live. I don't trade my time for money unless I am coaching and mentoring somebody one-on-one, -on -one, one of my clients, then we have weekly calls or now the group coaching that will happen as well. But I do not coach live. I create my programs once I record them and then I drop the modules and you get lifetime access to them. Now, if you join individually, you get lifetime access. If you join the Synergy membership, you will have access to everything for a year. If you rejoin, of course, then you would get access to it for longer. But for one year, you'll get access to all of the things. And honestly, if you apply everything that I teach you in one year, your entire life will change. And for a while, I stopped recording new masterclasses and new programs because I was honestly so wiped out, like with the whole business coaching industry where you drop a new program every single month and you have to launch a new program every single month and you have to create the content around it. And blah, blah, blah. it just, it was exhausting to me. So that's why I really focused on just selling and working with my students within the Manifestation Academy and making sure they had access to all of the different things. So that way it was really like your one-stop shop and you didn't need to, as like on the flip side, as a client, you didn't need to be investing in a program every single month. Now, since I've taken a break since, I don't even know, it's been months now, since I took a break from launching new programs, I feel so rejuvenated and I've had so many downloads. So I had the self-concept master class turn into a self-concept master course and it is so good. It's step-by-step -step on creating your new self-concept and it's the most shadow work you'll ever get out of me in a program because I feel really comfortable walking you step by step through it and not leaving in you leaving you in the depths of your psyche without having a way out. And that's why I don't typically teach and I don't think people should teach shadow work in just a program because it's not it's not enough support for the person to apply it. And then I recently, this past week, dropped the Already Yours Masterclass where I'm teaching you how to really get into the energy of it's already yours and how to eliminate doubt and worry and fear from your manifestation process and to really detach from the circumstances because you're embodying the energy of it already being yours. And these two programs were so, so powerful. And I'm feeling really called to keep creating programs and or masterclasses. So I can't tell you how many I will be dropping. I'm just going to be following my energy and my inspiration. But right now, I feel like this is the best time to be in my world because you're going to get access to a lot of things. You'll get access to all of the pre-recorded programs and then anything that drops live. And oh my God, there is a ladybug that's crawling down the lamp in front of me right now. That's a beautiful synchronicity. So with all of that being said, oh, and if you are somebody that wants to join mentorship with me, if I feel like I don't know that I've laid this out on the podcast before, but if you do want to join mentorship with me, you get access to all of my programs while you are in mentorship with me. And then you get a weekly call with me. It's typically a FaceTime or sometimes it is just a voice call depending on the client, depending on what's, what you're more comfortable with. And then you also get access to me in Voxer, which is an app where you get text and audio support with me throughout the week, Monday through Friday. So that's just a breakdown of what it looks like to work with me in my world and to really know how everything is broken down because every coach and mentor and educator 
does it differently online and I love that and it's beautiful, but I felt really called to just explain that out there so that way if you're new to my world and you're wondering what's the best way to work with me, then that's what you can do. You can also go to my website and almost, I'm working on getting every single program, but almost every single program has an individual page to really break down what that program's about. So you can also join any program by itself. And if you do that, you get lifetime access to the program. So that's just, that's just that. So let's get into today's episode, what I'm feeling really called to speak about. And that is how your expectations affect your manifestations. And honestly, it's what you're expecting is what you're manifesting. And that is the title of this episode because it's just so concise and so accurate. And now what do I mean by that? What I mean is you have a relationship with everything in your life. You have a relationship with health. You have a relationship with money. You have a relationship with love. You have a relationship with your family. You have a relationship with yourself. You have a relationship with everything. And what a lot of people I think don't realize is it's not just with people that you have a relationship with. It's with everything. And the relationship that you have with anything also has expectations that have been built around either your programming by your programming when you were raised or the societal programming and the lived experiences that you have had. So for example, you guys know that I love using money as an example because it's just such a tangible example and Everybody wants to have more money. Like, I do not believe you if you tell me that you don't want to have more money unless you're somebody that hasn't done any money mindset work and you still believe that money is the root of all evil because that is bullshit and that is exactly what the matrix wants you to believe. But I don't actually believe you if you're going to tell me that you don't want to have money. Everybody wants to have more money, right? So based on how you've been programmed to view money, which is probably lack because I would say 99% of people were raised in a lack mentality around money. And then your lived experiences with money, you end up creating expectations. So a lot of those expectations look like I have to work hard to make money. I have to do something that I hate to make money. I have to trade my time for money. Money is always running out. Money is a limited resource. These are all things that we start to expect. And yes, these are beliefs, but they also become expectations, right? Because it's like, say you get paid, you have a job, and you say you get paid on Fridays. You expect money to come to you on Fridays. You don't really expect that you're going to receive money the other days of the week because you've deemed payday as the day where you get money, which when we understand that money is just energy and energy flows If you are saying that you only make money on one day, then you're blocking yourself off from receiving all of the infinite ways that money could come into your reality every day, every minute. You can make money while you're sleeping. You know, you don't just make money on payday, but if you expect that the only time you're gonna make money is on payday, then you're going to notice that you don't really make any money any other day than payday because that's what you've come to expect. And your expectations are really how you're leading your energy, whether you are opening yourself up to receive or whether you're closing yourself off. Now, let's use another example, love. If you've been single for a while and say that you've been on all of the dating apps and say that you've gone on a bunch of first dates and they were terrible and you had a lot of people that were Say that you've met a lot of people that were not serious, they were lying on their profiles, they were not somebody you would ever take seriously in dating, say that all of the first dates went awfully, then you start to have this expectation that even if you've never met a person or talked to a person before, that you're probably not going to meet your soulmate on a dating app. Or you could take that even further and say that you feel like you're not going to meet your person because you felt like you've dated or talked to everybody in your area and there's not a lot of single people in your area or whatever it is. We start closing ourselves off when in reality, somebody could move to your town tomorrow. They could move today and they could be your dream person. But if you're expecting that there's no good men near you or 
all of the women in your area are, are all flakes, then you start to close yourself off energetically to the fact that you could literally run into, like you could physically run into your soulmate partner at the grocery store today. You could be looking and not paying attention where you were going. We're human, we do this. And they could be doing the same thing and you could be in aisle seven and walk smack dab into each other. Like that's literally how you could meet someone. But that's not going to happen to you if you're just walking around in this mentality and this closed off energy that there's no good people near you or that or whatever it is. And what people don't realize is just because you have had negative past experiences, just because something in your past has gone this way, it doesn't mean that your reality couldn't change today. But where a lot of people get caught up is they start believing and then expecting that life is going to go the way it's always gone or money is always going to go the way it's always gone or love's always going to go the way that it's gone or health is going to go the way that it's always gone. And it's like if you actually did the work to change your mindset, if you started expecting the best case scenario instead of the worst case scenario, then you would see that your reality could shift so quickly because the power in that is your shifting. And when you show up differently, when you show up in a different mindset, when you show up in a different energy, that's when the universe can really meet you where you're at because that's the thing. The universe is never testing you. It's always just meeting you where you're at. The universe can't give you what you're not giving yourself. And that's why I have a problem with the whole everyone is you pushed out concept. I get that Neville Goddard taught that, but I also tell you guys to never put one teacher or one guru or one mentor on such a pedestal that you're not willing to challenge anything that they say. Because if anybody tells you that free will doesn't exist, run the fuck away from them. Every spiritual teacher and every entity that is channeled by a channel that is a 12th dimensional entity will tell you that free will exists. Every spiritual teacher has always told you that free will exists. Yes, we are all energy and this is a holographic universe and we're all just manipulating the hologram and we're creating our reality and we are all doing that. So we all individually are creating our own reality, but that doesn't mean that the people in our reality don't exist. We are experiencing a reality with other people. So those people do have free will. And where a lot of the teachings about love go wrong in the everyone is pushed everyone is you pushed out concept is that there's a lot of people that think that they don't have to do any work to love themselves or to show up differently. They can just manipulate the other person's free will so that way they'll just show up exactly how they want them to. And that is the most egotistical manifestation bullshit that I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes, you can manipulate circumstances. You can change how you assume people to be and expect them to be. But ultimately, if you don't love yourself, you're not going to be able to manifest a healthy, loving partner and a healthy, loving relationship because the universe is matching you. And that's why a lot of the times if you do get into a relationship without doing the love work on yourself, you're just going to manifest a relationship and a partner that is giving off what you're giving off because the universe is matching you energetically. So the power is, is when you start shifting your expectations, when you start shifting your beliefs, when you start shifting your energy, the universe now has a new opportunity to show you a different experience in reality. But that is because the universe is mirroring back to you the energy that you are giving off. And like I always tell you guys, your beliefs and your feelings are a feedback loop and that's creating your dominant vibrational frequency. And that is what the universe is responding to. And it doesn't have to take a long time to shift this. You can actually shift your vibrational frequency instantly. And in the quantum realm, the only moment that exists is this moment right now. So the longer you believe that it has to take a long time for you to receive things, for you to change, for your reality to shift, then you're just perpetuating a reality where it's going to take a long time because that's what you believe and that's what you expect. And I get that a lot of this, if not all of it, all of the limitations that we've been taught to believe in, programmed to believe in, come from a matrix world where they actually benefit from our ignorance of the alchemical principles, whereas the people that are in power, they are practicing and have always practiced these alchemical principles. So it doesn't do anyone any 
service for you to keep believing that you are limited in any way, shape, or form. My clients and students typically see a shift within three days of working with me because I'm not going to allow you to keep playing out your blind spots. I'm not going to keep allowing you to entertain your bullshit. I'm actually going to give you tools and give you advice and give you ways to understand how quickly you can shift because the only moment that you manifest from is the moment that you're breathing into right now. And that was something that channeled through to me while I was getting ready for the Already Yours Masterclass. So if you're in that masterclass, you've heard me say that before. And I said it again on my client call today and she was like, oh my God, that is really good. So I want you to remember that the only moment you're manifesting from is the moment that you're breathing into. So your thoughts in this moment, your feelings in this moment, your expectations in this moment are what are creating your future moment. So you really want to notice, and this is why I always tell you consciousness is so important. You want to notice when your expectation is out of alignment with your desired outcome. Because if you're expecting that money is going to run out, but you desire to manifest money, that's out of congruence. And that incongruency is going to cause you to keep living and perpetuating the reality where you don't have money. Because if you're saying that you want to have money, but all you talk about is how money is running out, all you feel into and all you think about is the lack of money, then there's no possible way that you could manifest the money because The math isn't mathing, whether it's energetically or not. Like, the math is not mathing there. Lack plus lack will always equal lack. Abundance plus abundance will always equal abundance. And it doesn't matter how many years you've gone by experiencing lack. If you, for the next 30 days, focused on abundance, only spoke about abundance, only expected abundance, only felt into abundance, in 30 days, you would manifest more fucking money than you've ever manifested in your entire life. And I'm pretty sure I do talk about this in the money game, which... I believe I've told you guys on here, it's been so long since I've recorded a podcast because I switched over from just being on Apple Podcasts to now being on Spotify and I think we're on Google or Amazon. I don't know, but I feel like who who the hell listens to that? Like people only listen to podcasts on Spotify and on Apple. So anyway, you guys requested for so long that I was on Spotify and I finally went back and switched to having an RSS feed. But because I'm no longer on Apple, it didn't make sense for me to record new podcast episodes because they wouldn't be released. But since we're finally getting to the end, I want to say the first week in November is when all of the older episodes will be finally released. There's been an episode a day dropping all of this month in October on Spotify. So if you're on Spotify, you're probably like, oh my God, I'm getting new episodes every day. This is amazing. I don't, I don't release these every day. They're just older episodes. So we are at 50 episodes. This will be episode 51. I did delete all of the lives that I had done on Instagram and then uploaded as podcast episodes because I didn't realize like how bad the sound quality was. I noticed while I was doing the lives, but I just didn't think that carried over. And as I was listening to them, the sound quality is just terrible. So I believe that there's one that I uploaded because that's when I realized like, oh, this is just like not, not good. And this is also why I stopped going live on Instagram and all the things. But anyway, so I did have like 71 episodes with all of the lives, but now this will be at episode 50. This is episode 51, I'm pretty sure. And so this will be dropping within the next two weeks or so. I'm just trying to remember if I've told you about the Money Game ebook and the fact that I made it into an ebook. I might have mentioned it on the last episode, so just to forgive me, but here's a here's a plug for it in case you're new here. I do have a program called the Money Game, which is a 30-day money manifestation challenge and I turned it into an ebook so that way if you don't want to join the program just for the cost or whatever and you'd rather have an ebook version then it's available. If you get the ebook you do not have access to the meditation or to the visualizations or to any of the audio. So if you're wondering what the difference is in the program you have audios, you've got visualizations, you've got meditations plus everything that's in the book and you also get a copy of the ebook 
within the program itself. But the thing about that is, is when you just show up differently, your reality changes. And the thing is, is when you start changing your beliefs, you start changing your expectations. And then there's a shift in your energetic frequency that you're giving off. You are creating your reality. The universe is matching you. So when you change, your reality has to change. And the people that really try to manifest and struggle with manifestation is they don't change. They're waiting for and relying on their outside world to change and then driving themselves crazy because they feel like they're doing all of the things and they're not seeing results. And it's because they're doing things externally and they're not doing the inner work to really shift how they show up. So I want to ask you, are your expectations and beliefs in alignment with your desired reality with your desired outcome? Or are you saying that you want something but believing the opposite and expecting the opposite to happen? Because that's when we get really frustrated in the manifestation process. We expect that we can manifest love, but we don't love ourselves. We expect that we can manifest money, but we only talk about and feel into lack. And our beliefs are going to generate our energy and they're going to generate our expectations. And our expectations, like you have to remember, your subconscious mind uses past evidence. So in order for you to experience a new reality with something, you need to feed new beliefs, new energy, and create new expectations. And the thing is, is reality is is subjective. In every single reality, There is someone else, or in every single area, there is someone else that's experiencing a different reality than you. There's somebody who is living their happiest, healthiest, wealthiest life. So when you start challenging your beliefs and you start changing your expectations, you can experience a whole new reality and nothing in this life is fixed. And that's why people went from being broke to being millionaires. 88% of millionaires are self-made millionaires because they realized money is energy. So if they change their mindset, if they change their energy around money, then money will flow into their reality. And this is the thing is this whole reality creation process is all an inner job. It's you versus you. So when you shift what you believe, what you expect, and you take aligned action from that place, that's when there's no incongruencies. That's when everything manifests easily because what's manifesting externally has already manifested internally. When you expect that miracles, blessings, abundance, love, happiness, joy is always on its way to you, when you expect that life is getting better and better, when you expect that you're the luckiest girl in the universe, when you expect that you get to have everything that you want quickly and easily, that's what's going to manifest for you. But you have to realize that In order for you to manifest what you desire, you have to change your mindset. You have to change the words that you use. You have to change the feelings that you feel into. You need to change your expectations before you see it, before you experience it outside of you. And I go really deeply on this into in the Already Yours Masterclass because it's about understanding that You already have everything that you need inside of you. And in order for you to receive it externally, you need to feel it and visualize it and trust and know that it is already yours. So much so that you're not looking at the outside world for validation. You are showing up as the version of yourself who gets to have it all because you're doing the work on yourself to become the person that expects that they get to have it all. And that's why they were born. Like you're literally walking divinity. When you understand this, you realize that you weren't put here to suffer and there's no God outside of you. My On my arm, I have in Sanskrit, on my, I have a tattoo on my arm that's in Sanskrit and it says Omnava Shavaya. And that means I honor the divinity within me. And it's something that a lot of people lose sight of. And I could go into a whole tangent about how Christianity did that when they took the hermetic principles and took that out of the hermetic principles and then wrote the Bible. But I'm not going to go down that tangent today. But what you need to understand is that you are walking divinity. There's no separation between God and you. You are God. You are the one that's creating your reality. You exist in every single timeline right now. And you are 
walking stardust and the divine is within you. And when you understand that you literally were put here to experience a divine reality, your divinity learning how to experience life and all of the feelings and all of the joys and all of the ups and downs to raise your vibration, to expand your consciousness level, to evolve, then you realize you weren't put here to work in a job that you hate and be miserable and never have enough money to live your life and to feel terrible and to expect that every day is going to be just like the last. And that's a thing that really trips people up too, is they expect that just because it's the way it's always been, it's always going to be that way. And it's like, how are you leaving any room for miracles? How are you allowing yourself to shift energetically if you're just waking up every single day and going through the same mundane routine? That's where a lot of people fall into depression because they just don't like their life, but expect that that's the way it has to be. And it's like, talk to anybody who has manifested anything in their life. They will tell you that they got depressed at one point in another or another, and then they realize that it's because they kept feeding their mind and their energy with low vibrational thoughts about this is the way it always has to be, and they weren't happy with where they were and then expected that it would always be this way. And it's like, It doesn't have to be. And the moment that you decide that it's not going to be like this anymore, it will shift because what happens when you make a decision? You do whatever it takes so that way it becomes your reality. And it's not about what you want in manifestation. It's about what you decide that you get to have and who you're deciding to be because the, the universe is matching what you're giving off. It's not matching what you want because normally what you want isn't in alignment with who you're being. And the universe is always going to match who you're being because that's the dominant vibrational frequency. So do you understand how deeply ingrained your expectations are with the manifestation? And when you're aware of this and you shift how you expect life to go for you, and when you understand that every moment is a moment for you to exercise your free will and to shift into a different reality, then you understand that you have so much power in this moment to change everything. And if you just started playing into how powerful you were and embodied that energy, your entire reality would shift so quickly that even you would be like, oh my God, how did this happen so quickly? All right, that's where we're going to leave this podcast episode because my brain is still a little mushy. COVID brain is, is really a thing and my voice is starting to go out. But I hope that you got a lot out of this episode. If you did, please, please, please do me a favor. And if you're loving the podcast, rate it five stars on whatever platform you're listening on. And please leave a review because on Spotify, we're brand new. So we're trying to get the podcast out to more people. You can also listen to the podcast on YouTube if you're somebody that doesn't use Apple Podcasts or Spotify. But if you do love the podcast and you're listening on YouTube, because I know a lot of you do, please, 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 if you do listen on one of the other platforms, leave a review on the platform because it really, really makes a difference on how many people see and hear the podcast. And I want to get this podcast out to as many people as possible. So I really appreciate all of the reviews. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing about how These episodes are really helping you to lock in your new identity and create your new reality and manifest your dream life and build out your abundant business that you absolutely love. So I'm so grateful that you're here, that you're here. I love you guys so much and thank you for listening. And until the next episode, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to go deeper and to get into my world, you can go to my website, alexaraysmith.com. You'll find all of my current programs on there. If you're desiring to get mentored by me, then the best thing to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram and we can talk about mentorship options and which one's the best fit for you. If you're absolutely loving this podcast, please go rate it five stars and let me know why you're loving it. This will help me share the podcast with more people. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until the next episode, keep manifesting the most incredible life.